Good morning and welcome back to the theater and the vlog. It is Wednesday. I am so exhausted, but I think I finally realized why as I was walking in to the theater today, I was like, I'm not getting like any less sleep than I have been the last couple weeks, but I'm so much more tired. And I think it's just because all that lack of sleep has finally truly caught up with me. And so I'm going to need like like four or five days of like eight hour plus sleep days to um, rectify this. So we're going to try to figure out how to make that happen <laughs> because with working, it's, it's, it's hard. I'm, I also, this lighting is not the greatest, but I also think I'm going to take a break from editing vlogs and just like not post anything for a couple days. And, um, We'll keep vlogging though, I think, but maybe like without that extra added pressure on, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just so tired. Like, look, I'm so tired. So yeah, I'm going to um, sit here and have my breakfast drink and then um, get this day started. The nice thing is it is a Wednesday and Wednesdays are usually pretty chill. Also, I think a coworker is coming in today, which is exciting because I get to see people. Um, so that's cool. So yeah, I'm going to go and I'll catch up with you as I can because it's going to be a rough day, I think. Okay, so I think I figured out that the reason I am so exhausted this week is because this is like the third week of me just not getting stellar sleep. Like two weeks, my body, I guess, could deal with it. But then this week, it's just like, let me sleep. So we're just going to go to sleep. We're going to have a nap. It is 20 after 12 and I guess it's nap time. Fingers crossed it's good <laughs> and then um we'll see how the rest of the day takes takes us where the rest of the day takes us how the rest of the day goes i could have used either one of those but i combined them and um yeah i think also if i could start like even stretching or exercising moving my body every day that would be good so i need to like stop focusing on embroidering and start focusing on me because it ain't good <laughs> But for now, to focus on me, I'm gonna sleep, so I will see you afterwards. Good afternoon. I freaking live. I'm alive. I am upright. It is quarter to six. <laughs> I did not sleep until quarter to six. I think I slept until about four, four o'clock-ish? 4.30 maybe? I don't know, but I am awake. I am charging some items, not just myself. We had to charge some headphones and other things, and I'm writing a blog post about how exhausted I am. Although right now I'm feeling pretty good. It took me a bit to get out of bed, but now I'm, you know, feeling pretty okay. I think I'm probably gonna like have dinner here soon, even like I just, yeah, all I do is sleep and eat it seems, but we'll see. And then after dinner, we'll reevaluate and see what the heck we're gonna do today because I'm taking a break from editing vlogs, I think, like I mentioned earlier. I'm pretty sure I am. I just, I just don't feel like sitting here and editing. Maybe I'll go for, if it's not raining, a walk or something. I don't know. I just, I feel like I need to prioritize movement of my body and hopefully, you know, I know that that will help me sleep better. And like that and drinking water would be two very good things. So we're gonna try to focus on that this week. <laughs> Nothing else, just that. I will fail because I will want to embroider, but we will see. But anyways, that's the current update. I'm going to go find some food and um, actually I'm going to finish this blog post and then I'm going to find some food and then we'll see where the day takes us the rest of the day. There's not much of it left, but... <sighs> The sun is shining 24 7 because when we're together it feels like we're in heaven if it will get dark you'll be my million stars i know i can lean on you oh you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree if i'll be a shooting star you make a wish no i don't fake this kind of feeling never felt so real my heart is on the table cause you're my everything I do, 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 I wanna marry you Cause when you're around I know it's true ooh, ooh, The way you make me feel is so Well, it is now what I'm gonna try to call the end of the night. It is 10.02. You probably can't see because of my screen. Um, I've just been embroidering. We've just been chilling. <sighs> I haven't been doing much. Trying not to like do anything that's like could ramp me up. I'm like trying to wind down because like I'm a child and I can't get myself to sleep. So yeah, we're going to try to go to sleep now. I was really glad that I didn't have to edit 
a video today. I mean, typically I would have to because I'm supposed to post tomorrow, but I'm not posting tomorrow. So that was nice. So I just kind of chilled and watched some YouTube and didn't really do much <laughs> while well, I embroidered. I finished that one shade of green, which took me like an hour and a half, which is kind of what I thought. I'll show you. I'm just taking off my socks right now and I can't do that while I'm getting up. But yeah, so here's the bag right now. So I need to do the pink, I need to do the eyes, and then I need to do the two different shades of um, green here. I have the main color picked out, but I need to pick a slightly darker color for the shading, but it's coming along well. I'm really happy with it. And also my satin stitch technique has increased, which is great because like if you look back at like Mount Fuji over here, which was like the first time I started doing satin stitch, so like it looks okay from the front, but like it's not supposed to look like that on the back and it was so hard to get through. Whereas if I can show you, <laughs> this is just a disaster. This is much better. It's still not perfect, but it's much better. And honestly, part of the problem that I have, especially when stitching on these bags, is that the material's um, not, uh, like the weft isn't super tight. <laughs> and so when you're trying to go back in beside, sometimes it just keeps popping out the stitch. So that's why. Anyways, I'm rambling for no reason. I need to climb into bed. Hopefully I'll get to sleep because I have to be up for like six-ish tomorrow. So that's exciting. I think working, coming home, and then we're gonna go do our weekly or two weekly grocery shop kind of thing. So yeah, anyways, I will see you now in the morning. Hopefully I will be well rested. <laughs> Good night. I wore a different pair of shoes today and they are just not as comfortable as I remember them being. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It is Thursday morning. It is 6.35 in the morning and I'm here early because that happens occasionally. Actually, in all honesty, part of probably why my sleep schedule is so messed up is from these like 6.30 slash 7 o'clock starts because I have to be up early to be here. So that's where we are today. Anyways, last night I climbed into bed at 10. At 10.30, I put my phone down and I was like, no more. Do not touch it. Do, do nothing with it. And I laid in bed and I laid in bed and I laid in bed and I fell asleep at 1.30. <laughs> I'm so mad about it. <laughs> I am so mad about it. Like, despite my best efforts, I just can't get to sleep. So anyways, still pretty tired today. I think I had like four and a half hours of sleep, but what can you do? I'm obviously at the theater, just hanging out on the floor as one does sometime. I think I'm gonna go um, pay my phone bill, like a responsible adult, and then listen to some music or something until seven o'clock. Cause again, like I've said before, it doesn't really make sense for me to start before seven. Um, because of the ride situation. So I'm gonna go do that, hopefully wake up a bit more, and I will see you afterwards. Alrighty, so I am home now. It is just before noon. Um, left work at like 11, grabbed some drive through <laughs> for lunch for all of us. Came home, ate it, and then here we are. Work got a little crazy. <laughs> so I had been upstairs in the sound booth. No, it's the lighting booth upstairs. I've been upstairs in the lighting booth. And I noticed a note saying 11 or 10.30 fire inspectors arriving or whatever. I was like, okay, so that means that the head tech guy will be here for that. So he'll probably be here at like 10. Okay, so I know when to expect the first person kind of thing because the techs kind of come in whenever, unless there's an actual show. So then at like 20 to 10, I hear the doorbell go. And I've mentioned it a million times before. It is so hard to hear that doorbell ring. You have to be in a very specific spot. So I'm like, ha, ah, crap, doorbell, gotta get a mask. There's somebody here, who is it? So I go over and I look, I, I open the door and it's like, they're, they're already walking away. And I'm like, hello? And it's the fire techs or fire inspector dudes. And I'm like, okay, cool, come on in. I have no tech, <laughs> come on in. And they're like, oh, can you, can you set this passcode on this um, door? And I'm like, no, I don't have the key for that. <laughs> I'm like, I will text the tech. So I, I text him, I'm like, hey, just so you know, like they're here, can you tell me where the key is so I can just turn this on so they can use their code? And he's like, okay, I'm on my way. <laughs> um, and yeah, so he showed up. He's like, yeah, they were supposed to be here at 10.30. I'm like, I know they're supposed to be here at 10.30, but that was fun. And there was like, four of them at least running around the theater just checking all the the fire equipment which is nice that you know we're safe hopefully they'll also make the beeping stop because our fire our fire oh because our fire panel i think i mentioned it before i think i might have even showed it in a vlog 
there's this one, it's like smoke detected in the ducts and it just beeps all the time. It's fine, it's just a faulty thing. So hopefully they'll fix that. Anyways, like I said, I'm home now. <laughs> I'm gonna change out of my, my work clothes. <laughs> this poor sweatshirt is just like coming apart. It's just coming apart. I'm gonna be so sad the day it officially dies and I can no longer sew it. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna hang out for a bit. I'm thinking I might embroider a bit and then at about, I think two o'clock-ish, after my mom's boyfriend leaves to go to work, we're gonna go get my grandma, apparently, because um, she needs to go to, the, to to Walmart and it's too far, she doesn't wanna walk that far, um, which I get. <laughs> and so we're gonna get her, drop her off at Walmart, maybe also go to Walmart, and then we have to do our grocery shop, like I mentioned. So, for now, we're gonna catch up on YouTube <laughs> and um, embroider. I gotta pick a color, I gotta pick a green, I gotta go through my greens, Da. Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. I think my sole goal for today might just be to finish this. I just have to finish the shading here, finish the shading on him, the inside just. Now that I'm saying it, it's a lot more than just the eyes and the tongue. But I'm definitely making progress. Anyways, I am all like cozy in my blind channel fleece, um, <laughs> ready to go outside. I have no idea what the temperature is outside, but I'm not melting in my room, which means it can't be that hot outside. Let's see. Oh, it's 14 degrees, so it's, it's, it's okay. But I'm nice and cozy and um, we're gonna head out soon to go, like I said, I think pick up my grandma, do some shopping, and then we'll come back and I think it's just gonna be chill time. I don't, I think that's gonna be the goal today. If even, I'm gonna try really hard not to nap today in hopes that I don't nap. And then when I climb into bed at 10 o'clock, I um, actually fall asleep before 1.30 in the morning. That's the goal, so we will see. But um, I'm not gonna bring my camera because uh, just, it. When you're going to like do shopping, for me at least, I'm going to shop and especially with COVID and stuff, I'm going to shop and I'm not going to dilly dally. <laughs> so I will see you um, when I'm back. Oh boy, is it significantly later. So it's quarter to five now. Basically, I think like one o'clock we left the house, picked up my grandma, brought her to Walmart to get her stuff because she just moved. So she needed like a table and a vacuum, like just a small vacuum because she's just in a small, I think it's like a junior executive. I think that's what it's called where it's got like the bedroom that like kind of closes, but doesn't really close. I think, I don't know. I haven't seen it. Anyways, dropped her off. We did our grocery shopping, came home, put everything away. I bought some shorts while we were at Superstore because they were tax-free and also 20 bucks, which is a great price for shorts. And I need shorts for this summer because I have ones that, that fit, but they're a little short for what I'm comfortable with wearing at work. Like I've worn them at work in the past, but I prefer ones that come down like Bermuda length. So I was like, I don't know what size I am <laughs> and you can't try anything on the store. And so I got a size that I was like, I think this should fit me, but just in case I got the bigger size. So I tried on the size that I thought should fit me and I was like, this is a little big. <laughs> so uh, the other side definitely didn't fit me. So then I had to go back. Um, I have apparently no concept of what my body size is. <laughs> uh, yes. So we went back, I exchanged them for a size that fits me. And I also returned some shorts that I bought a couple days ago that I just didn't love. I just didn't love. So I got these like khaki shorts here and then these like navy ones as well. So that's good. I also have a pair of shorts coming from Old Navy. <laughs> like I checked what my measurement size said I should be, <laughs> but now based on the ones I returned today, I don't think those shorts are gonna fit me. So we shall see. <laughs> We might need to do a return or an exchange or something. Um, or honestly, they're black shorts though. So I don't have black shorts. So maybe I'll exchange them if they don't fit. But maybe they'll just fit. I I don't think so considering they're two sizes larger than these ones. So we'll see. Anyways, I'm starting to crash now because I'm sleepy, but we're gonna stay awake. It is quarter to five. I definitely already said that, but my plans for today are still to finish this. Hopefully, I don't know. As the day's going on, I'm starting to feel less optimistic, but get as much as I can done on this. Gonna drink this to try to stay awake a little bit longer and like maybe deal with that situation over there. 
there, but probably mostly avoid it. So that's where we're at. <laughs> I am so tired. Okay, it's like, here's the situation. It's just seven o'clock now and I am dying. I'm literally dying. I'm about to pass out. I don't know how I got through dinner without falling asleep. So that's a mess that is just gonna get moved. But before I go to bed, Oh, I can feel my words are starting to come more difficultly. <laughs> Why would I use a big word? <laughs> um, I want to finish this, this part of this frog. I mean, obviously I'm not going to finish the whole thing, but if I can get him done except for his eyeballs, I think I'll be good. I'm not sure if I love the colors here together, but <laughs> it's done. So yeah, I'm going to work on that, and then I'm going to climb in my pajamas, and then I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> And I think I'm just going to continue this vlog tomorrow, even though I don't typically vlog on Fridays. But you know what? We're not even editing right now, so anything goes. <laughs> Good night. So last night, just after I said I was going to go to sleep, my mom came up and kindly reminded me it was Thursday, which meant I had to do invoicing. I was so mad about it. And so I invoiced for about 45 minutes, climbed into bed at 8.30, so still not bad. And then I laid in bed trying to get to sleep until 1.30 in the morning. <sighs> I'm so mad about it because like at dinner, I couldn't even keep my eyes open. I could barely function. I was in my room. I was just finishing the little bit of embroidery I had to do, winding down and then invoicing and those dead. And it was difficult because math is hard when you're tired. <laughs> also days of the month, days of the month, very hard. And then I'm like, okay, we're good. I changed my PJs, I climbed into bed, and like the second my head hit the pillow, my brain was like, hi, I'm awake. <laughs> and then like I said, I laid there for hours, like even if you call it like 9.30 when I officially tried to start getting to sleep, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, like, like four hours of laying in bed trying to get to sleep. And a predominant thought that I had that time was, well, if I had napped earlier, like I still may have napped for like two hours or whatever, but <laughs> at least I wouldn't have been laying in bed doing nothing. I am, I'm so tired today. It is um, just seven o'clock. I've been here since 6.30. I came and I laid down on the couch in the green room for a while because I'm just, I'm so dead. And I think I'm just gonna give up and nap today. Like I have avoided napping for two days in a row and it, has not helped at all and I feel so sick because I'm so tired I, I just need the extra sleep so I'm gonna nap today and then tomorrow I'm gonna come in a little bit later so hopefully that will make a difference but for now I'm gonna go I'm gonna get this day started and then as soon as I can go home I'm gonna go home and sleep I think you know what I think the color is growing on me I'm really jazzed to um finish this, maybe later today. <laughs> because currently I'm gonna go to sleep. I am not as exhausted as I was earlier, um, but I feel like it's only a matter of time before it hits me. So maybe I'll lay in bed, put on a movie, and if I stay awake, I stay awake. If I fall asleep, I fall asleep. But realistically, I think I'm gonna be out cold very quickly. And then tomorrow, I guess, we'll just try to fix the sleep schedule again. I don't, I don't even know how I used to get up at six o'clock every day for like, two and a half months and I was super productive and like all that fun stuff. I, I don't know how I did it because I am dying <laughs> even when I get up later. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to likely nap and I will check in with you afterwards, hopefully feeling refreshed and ready to finish out the day. Well, hello. I have revived. I am awake. I think I had like a two and a bit hour sleep. It is currently 4.30. So I woke up. I stayed up for a bit. I watched a YouTube video and then I put on Brooklyn Nine-Nine and I just passed out to it. But then I got up and I watched some psych and chilled, <laughs> laid in my bed. Just, I, it was hard to wake up, but I'm up now. I got this cute dress in the mail today. So that's very exciting. It's from Old Navy. Um, it's exactly what I was hoping it would be. I just feel like a cottage core princess or something. Like it's just, it's so cute. It's got like, the ruffles here and it's got the ruffles down there and it's just such a cute color. <laughs> I probably could have sized down to be honest um, 
except the only place that I bothered taking measurements for was here because um, if I hadn't, I think we would have had problems. So I might take in the side here a bit because it's a little big for me, but that's okay. I also, if you remember yesterday, <laughs> I was talking about the, the, the shorts I picked up and how I had to size down on those because they didn't fit me. <laughs> and then I was concerned about the shorts I was getting from Old Navy because they're like two sizes bigger. The scrunchie does not go with this look. So they also came today and they fit like perfectly. <laughs> like I, I hate sizing in clothes. It's so stupid. Anyways, I am up now um, and feeling a lot better. I don't feel sick anymore, which is great. Like just like, I felt very nauseated. And um, I think it's gonna be time to work on this while feeling like a little princess in my dress. <laughs> so that is the current plan. Probably catch up on some YouTube and just, just chill, which I mean, that's what we're doing this week. We're just trying to chill and we're trying to take care of our person. So hopefully it works. <laughs> Honestly, for the last couple days, I have just been neglecting everything. So it's bad, but in good news, look at this. I just have the eyeballs and the tongue left to do. So I'm gonna pick out a color now for the eyes. I have some thread that I got as a free um, add-on when I ordered something on Etsy, which I kind of want to use because I think it'll be cool, but I'm not sure if it'll match like the same thickness as the current thread. So we're gonna have to kind of go through things. Um, and then I think we're gonna clean up the mess. I'm also watching Spider-Man Far From Home for the first time um, because I was in Blind Channel when it came out and I just never had a chance, that's all green, <laughs> to watch it since then. And I got Crave and it's on Crave. There's no yellow there. <laughs> um, here, here's the yellows. And I got Crave and um, I just, I haven't watched it yet. And I'm probably gonna get rid of Crave soon because there's not really much for me to watch on there. I've kind of <laughs> made a point to watch all the things. So this is the thread that I th I'm thinking of using. I think they'll look really nice. And like looking at my other yellows, I just don't think I have anything as cool as this one. Uh, maybe, no, I think this one's the way to go. <laughs> personal lately. Could you focus? No, apparently you cannot focus. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so I think I'll go with this one and then I'll have to find, oh my god, the focus. The focus. <laughs> wow. And then I'll have to find a pink. I have like, I have so many projects that I'm working on that I have the colors here for. Ugh, you know what? I think that green would have maybe been better than the greens I used. Ah, well. Um, but a pink for the tongue. I've got all these ones here. Alternatively, I'm sorry if you're getting like motion sickness. I do have this Alice in Glass stuff, which I love. And there's some good colors in here. There's a ton of colors missing. <laughs> because I started a project with some of these. Oh, I love this variegated. And um, I never finished it. It's Bulbasaur. He's in here. We're just, I am a disaster today. Oh, I can't get him. He's in the bottom. Maybe I can get him. Here's Bulbasaur. So I should really just finish this. I don't have much left to do. I think, I feel like I need to fix this face because I'm not happy with it, but I could finish that and then put everything back in its rightful place. Ugh. I also have a um, t-shirt that I started in the summer for Blind Channel. I can't reach it right now, um, <laughs> but I want to finish it before this summer comes because, ah, uh, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's all florals and stuff. So it just takes forever. Anyways, I think, like I said, I think this is the perfect yellow for the eyeballs. So I'm going to work on that and then I'll find the tongue color after. <laughs> I feel like this vlog is all over the place and honestly, if you've got to this point, you are the true MVP because, oh my god, it has been a disaster, but so hopefully your reward, if you continue watching, we'll be seeing this revealed in full and then maybe also that situation over there. Do you see it? Do you see it? It's done. <laughs> what was that laugh? Anyways, we finished. We got the eyes done. We got the tongue done. He's so cute. I have to iron it, obviously, and there's also like some little lines that I need to get rid of, and then I have to back it with the interfacing on the inside, but I am obsessed. 
obsessed. I'm less obsessed with this mess here that I'm going to have to deal with. <laughs> but look, worth it. Anyway, it's currently about 10 o'clock and um, that's a massive disaster that I need to deal with. So I think I'm going to deal with that now and then um, see where see where I'm at after that. I was watching the, um, there's a documentary on Crave. It's a Hulu documentary. I was going to say Hulu really messed up. It's a Hulu documentary about Sasquatches. I can't remember. I, is it just called Sasquatch? It might just be called Sasquatch. It is just called Sasquatch. So I just watched the first um, episode and obviously it ended on a cliffhanger. How rude. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my laptop because my laptop I can attach my Bluetooth headphones to and then I can putter and clean and get that sorted and then probably get ready to go to sleep here soon. I have a bit of a headache because I think somebody was outside my window like downstairs smoking weed and I am so allergic to smoke in general but pot smoke insta headaches so that's great but yeah I think I'm gonna start cleaning and then hopefully we'll get to sleep soon after that. I'm quite Mm, headachey and tired. It's great. It's great. And also, like, I should probably drink more water. I think that's gonna be helpful. So, yeah. That's where we're at. Been losing all momentum. Just because it's easy. That don't make it better. Alrighty, things are in much better shape now, which is fantastic. It is 10.30 and now I am sweating to death because my room is like 25 degrees in here, so any movement you just glisten, so we're glistening, <laughs> but that is totally okay. I think I'm now going to transfer a bunch of my vlog footage because I have not transferred it for a week, I would guess. I don't know. It's, it's been a long time. So I'm going to transfer that, organize that, so that when I do eventually decide that I want to edit again, it'll be ready to go. So that is the plan, and I'm probably going to head to bed after that. So I think I'm going to close out this vlog because it's been three days of rambling and disasters <laughs> and just <laughs> trying to live my best life but failing miserably. Um, but now I've got, like, I, it's folklore. I'm feeling very folklore -y with this with this, with this dress. It's feeling very folklore -y. Anyways, I'm gonna go to sleep, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye! <laughs>